know what? I was hoping that we would have a different room that's a little bit more user friendly and uh, not so much like this, but this is what we're stuck with today. So, um, do you, first of all, do you want anything to drink or are I'm you totally fine? fine. I think I'm fine. I just, I'm really curious what's going on right now. Well, um, at, when over at your house, um, I said to you, you know, you, you're, we were talking about uh, how you knew George, and you said Steve. You mean Steve, right? Yeah. Okay. So we know he goes by Steve, mm -hmm. and his last name is. I said, I think I said Bert, Birch, 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 something like that. Birch, Birch yeah. Okay. And so I'm glad that you came here to talk with me about him. Right. Um, but it's important once we get in this room because it's an interview room and it's in a law enforcement center that I explain to you that you're not under arrest and you're not in any trouble and um, you're just here to have a conversation with me and, and I really appreciate that. So um, I'm hoping that you can kind of tell me a little bit about your relationship with Steve. And like how long have you known him and how long have you been dating and stuff like that just and dating. what do you know about him? It's just dating literally like I said, about four, four or five months, known him for about six months. Um, so back in, help me out with this, because I'm a little slow when it comes to months. So when about did you meet? When he started at Blackstone, which was six months ago, so September.
like I said, we kept on talking and this and that, and then one thing led to another, and just kept talking, and then that led over into us being actually together, and then just always hung out and just talked, connected more uh, more with anybody else. So okay, so he's kind of a little bit older than you, isn't he? <laughs> and that's unusual. What do you know about him? What Apparently, do you know, what he has shit. Um, he's got two kids, and he lives in Virginia. Okay. And his wife and him split. Okay. Are they divorced? What has he told you? He said they're divorced. What? Okay. I'm literally second guessing everything right now at this point in time. Okay, so you know that's it, that's also interesting. At your house, you said something about him being a liar. Yeah, oh, just for the pure fact of what's going on right now. Okay. I thought he never. He used to tell me, "I'll never lie to you. I will never lie to you." Why are cops at my house right now? Why am I sitting in a room full of cops if you never lie to me? Obviously, he's lying about something. Otherwise, I would not be here. Okay, that's what I just want to figure out. So we are. Uh, we start dating about what time? About when? You and you kind of make it official about when. Well, I don't know. Is there? Wait a minute. Is there an officialness about your relationship, or did it just kind of? It just kind of happened. I can't really tell you or give you an exact date. It's just okay. Um, approximately. Do you remember about a month that? I would after? say about a month or two after, maybe or half a month maybe, and it started getting more and more and more and more and more, you know? Sure. Like, it was actually, like, you could tell, I guess you could say. How, how, what do you know? Okay, tell me what that means. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I might be able to tell a different way than you could tell. Okay, so, yes, like, yeah. Like, with hands, hand, kissing, basic stuff like that, you know? Okay. I would say about that, that was, that's when for sure, like, I felt and he felt that we were. Okay. And then, is this kind of an exclusive thing, or is this a thing where y'all are seeing different people, or how do I hope work? not. No. Just remember, Jordan, this is information that you know to be true, and, and what you know of him. So, don't worry about what <laughs> you think. Okay. I know. Just tell me Tell me about your relationship. Kind of tell me a story about you and and Steve and I'm sorry, I'm used to calling him George. You and Steve and and what you know about him and if there's any uniquenesses or anything unusual. Um, for instance, is he has he ever been violent? Um, have you ever noticed any peculiarities? Anything like that? So. If, you know, that might be the best way for us to go about it, just kind of tell me a story. And so you start, you kind of start seeing each other, you said you met him in about March, right? Yeah, about well, March. And, and so a couple months later, maybe in uh, April, May, April, May. April, May, April, May yeah. Um, Y'all start seeing each other. Were you still working together? At no, I left literally back so as soon as you got there. I just, I couldn't handle it. I was having a breaking point. When he got there, I was at my, break, my breaking point. I could not handle it no more. So, you know, Blackstone and your house are kind of a ways away from each other. How did you guys stay in touch? I mean, did you just, you know, were you kind of digging each other? Or did he want, was he, like, sort of hitting on you? Or how did, how did you end up staying in touch if you left Blackstone? And he was still working there. Oh, I gave him my number. No. So okay. he could contact me. And that's when he <coughs> just kept hanging out more. And then, uh, where did it go from there? Then you said there was this, you started kind of seeing each other, but at some point you said when we were on our way over here, there was this crash. Yeah, oh. Well, like, can you tell me about that? Um, the cop, you should be able to talk to the cop and bring up the reporter. Um, but. Um, what's his face? I don't know, I forgot his name. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot his name. He called me and it's like, you know, give me a call, blah, blah, blah. He says that my voice, you know, I read it. So then I called Steve. I was like, what the fuck? No, I wanted to bitch at him. That was my first instinct was to bitch. So I am not even gonna lie, I wanted to bitch. But he went in there and he talked to him, so then the cop had his phone, so I answered it and talked with him, you know, and he's like, well, 
you know, um, last thing when he was sleeping or whatever, they were all sleeping, Linda and Ed and him in the house, and they were all sleeping, someone went into uh, his vehicle, um, started it, took the vehicle, um, started doing some joy riding, hit a car, maybe a couple, brought it back to the same neighborhood, maybe forgot what house exactly he took it from, and then lit it up. Oh, okay. So were you with him that Steve, were you with him that night? I was sleeping. He was oh, sleeping okay. too. The cop called us and woke us up and I was like, well, what the fuck? Okay, so we, they were in the license plate and they came back under. When I'm saying, no. you said you were sleeping, but were you guys sleeping together? No, he was, oh, he he was, that, he was sleeping else. at his house. Oh. I was passed out. Oh. Okay. The cop came and looked. I showed him my phone. It was like a stop texting around. He was like 11, 12, maybe. Okay. And that happened around early, early, early in the morning. Okay. So, so that kind of brings me to another question. Did you, um, do you spend evenings with him? Do you sleep over at his residence, or does he sleep over oh, at your house? No, or? my mom does not like me. He's not allowed at my house, so I go over to his house and we'll sleep over there. Why does it? How often is that about? When I sleep over. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of often, but not really. He's just, I don't like his roommate. <laughs> Who's his roommate? I don't even know his name. It's like Boz or something. That's what he that's okay. what he says or what he calls him or what he calls himself is Boz. So why don't you like him? I don't like his personality, the way he talks. He doesn't talk to people. He he like talks down towards you and like. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Like, like a really prissy person, I guess you could oh. say. Uh, you mean like? And then I, like, like, like stuck up. Like, oh, oh, he's oh, better. Oh, oh, he's okay. better. Okay. Kind of, you guys, yes, you could say. When did he move in with this was? Like. A month ago, not even. A month ago? Where was he living before then? <coughs> it was kind of bouncing around at a hotel and stuff. Okay. Well, what about <coughs> this girl whose car this was? Or the vehicle that got lit on fire? That, that's when he first moved. Oh, oh. He was there for a little while and then he left. Or oh, they kicked him out and he went to uh, um, a bad fucking hotel in Ashland. He went to like staying at the hotel in Ashland. Is it north or south South Ashland? You mean the uh, okay the uh, on South Ashland the, would, would it be by Lombardi or where? I'm sure I don't know the street. Oh, um, but I think it's Ashland with the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. Okay, dinosaur. Okay. Yeah. So why did they kick him out? Do you know? What the whole thing with the car? What was yeah. going on? Yeah. Or yeah. right. she got I guess she got a ticket for it. Or whatever, because it was her car and registered under her, so they gave her a ticket. She got mad. Mm. Why did she get a ticket for her car being stolen? Because I, that's what the cop told me. Like, oh, okay. The cop, I don't really know. Yeah, no, the guy's the cop told me. He's like, we had to give her a ticket because it was her car and her insurance. It's all under her. So uh, did he? Did Steve ever say anything about that? situation to you? No, and the cop thought it was weird that that all happened. He's like, well, if he said anything, let me know. So I always pressured him, like, into, like, saying something different, you know, I guess you could say. He's always giving me the same fucking story each time, which I don't understand. And me, myself, I'm already sketched out by what would happen, same as what the cop would happen. What do you if mean? it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> well, he said... And I know he's done this. I know he has. I've seen it personally myself. I've actually went and teased him about it. He forgets me, leaves the keys in the ignition, or doesn't lock the door, go home past him. I've seen him do that. I have made fun of him. I actually stole his keys one time and locked the vehicle and made him work for a little while. So I have done that, and I ain't even going to lie. But it's the pure fact that, like, someone came in to their garage, not really garage, just driveway, whatever, okay. looked around for a certain vehicle, took the vehicle, came all the way over on my street, on Bader Street, sideswiped a car, and then came back to the same neighborhood and set it on fire. 
I just, I just thought that's weird. I don't know. I just think that's weird. But he said he didn't do it. He, did you believe him? Honestly, between us girls, did you believe him? Half of me does, but a little bit more than half doesn't. Because, like, it was on my street. And who would go into someone's driveway to steal a vehicle? But I've had that happen to me because, actually, right when that happened, a couple of days before, someone cut off my fucking muffler on my car. Not my muffler, not my whole muffler. Just the end part with the chrome that's worth a lot of money. Went on there really? with a freaking torch and torched it off. It's the only reason I remember. Used some asshole went underneath my car and torched it. Where did that happen? I don't know. I have no idea. I literally had been in my driveway while I was sleeping or at work. I worked at Blackstone for a little while. It literally could have been the only place. Just, I just don't understand why. That's very Is, odd. Isn't that? That's very odd. When did that happen? A week or two before the car thing happened. This is the only reason so I have after you the seat. Oh, about that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why the only thing I remember. I mean, I know I did park in that neighborhood, and I didn't live in this neighborhood. I'm not meaning me okay. into the neighborhood at all. Yeah. No, it is, no, I get it. It's yeah. pretty ghetto. It's um, it's diverse. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, better word. Better yeah. word. Yes. We learn all kinds of <laughs> words. Well, that's pretty much that's pretty much about it. That's why I remember it. Did um. Did after you, okay, so when he was living with this guy and this gal and the car got stolen um, around that time and then she uh, kicked him out and he went to a motel on Ashland mm -hmm. by Dinah's back. So that would be, I can't remember the name of it, I want to call it Title Town Motel, but I don't think that's right. Um, it's on the west side of the road though, right? You're not sure. So if you're headed out toward Dinah stop. Is it on the right hand? Is it on the same side of the road? The yeah. Hotel. Okay. Yeah. It's real close to there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So how long did he stay there? He's gonna be okay. Like a while. During that time, that um, around the time that the car got stolen, or before that, um, was he? Was there any unusual behavior? I'm seeing him. And like I said, I haven't known him that long enough to see unusual behavior. Okay. So this is all brand new. Okay. Now, we talked on the way here about how long I've been doing this job, right? Mm hmm And <laughs> longer than you young lady have even been breathing. So that's kind of uh, fun for me to say. <laughs> Not really. It makes me feel old. But the reason I tell you this is because I've heard a lot of things over the years, and I think we touched on that. Um, when we were on our way over here, so there's really nothing that you can tell me that um, that I haven't heard before, or that would be shocking or surprise me. So I'm going to ask you about um, any sort of unusualness or peculiarities with Steve. Um, I know you said that you would have a relationship. I'm assuming that's sexual. You kind of hinted toward that, correct? Okay. Um, do you notice? Did you notice anything? Have you noticed anything since you've been together that you would consider maybe a little out of the ordinary or unusual? And it's okay. I literally though I haven't like something that literally I would look and second guess at and be like, why are you doing that or you're weird? I haven't I haven't come across anything like that. Okay. Besides that he likes to clean. I think that's weird. He likes to clean. Oh, he loves to clean. How oh, does he clean? He just he's a good cleaner. I've never, <laughs> my whole life of knowing guys, I've never met a guy that took the addition and be like, I'll do those dishes. Really? Oh, yeah. Never met a guy like that my whole entire life. Maybe it's just because I'm younger and there's little dickheads around my age, but. So that's kind of interesting. Like, you take the initiative and do the dishes. Your husband does not? Oh, no. Yeah. See? And and he cleans. Does he do floors and stuff too, or does he? Is he just like the dishes doer kind of guy? I think he's just the dishes doer. Every time I see him, he do the dishes. But yeah. even if not, <coughs> he's still making the dishes and do it. That's <laughs> I think cool. it's so weird because like, why are you doing the dishes? <laughs> That's the only strange thing. Pretty much. Like, 
actually cleans the guy cleaning. Hmm. And but he doesn't clean the house. I haven't Does seen him clean the house. I haven't seen him clean the house. I've seen him do the dishes. You know, wipe yeah. off the counters, make them look yeah. nice. You know, maybe wipe down the fridge or something stupid on the outside. It's like yeah. the max I've seen, but every time he does it, he's doing the dishes. So obviously, you have the wet cloth or anyone want not wipe shit down already. Well, maybe that came from him being the dishwasher at. Um, oh yeah, being a cook and being a dishwasher and going. Does he use bleach when he cleans? I don't think so. Oh my god. That would be nice to be nice and clean. And yeah. yeah. I don't think he uses bleach. No, I'm thinking about it. I don't think he does. <coughs> so, he stayed at this motel for how long, approximately? A couple weeks, maybe? Maybe even just a week or two? I don't know. I would say somewhere between four to two weeks. Maybe. Okay. Can't you go there and like get the records or something? You yeah, can. Okay. You absolutely can. Okay. Um, <laughs> and, and this isn't about me talking to the people at the motel, which we'll probably do. This is just about me talking to you to find out um, how much you can help me with. So I do. I get um, questions. Do I get my turn? You and do. Absolutely, questions? you do. Um. Uh. And and I'll see what I can do to help you with this stuff. But um, we we just kind of have to. Um, sort of figure out what you know and and uh, and what you can help us with. I really like to know what I have because I don't want to be around someone that did something bad and that way I can determine it today right now. You will be finding out even later, young lady, sooner than later. You, I promise you that there will be no questions in your mind anymore. Okay. So, but you can't tell me right now what you did. I am going to confer with some people before I do that, before we have this talk, okay? But what I, I, uh, I, I think that I'm not really done, I'm not really finished just kind of getting some information from you, okay? Some questions. Um, we talked about your car when we were at your house, and you said, hell no, nobody drives my car except mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one well, insured under it. If, you any, I, yep, if anybody else drives it, I lose my loan and my insurance. And um, we talked about whether Steve had stayed at your house ever, and whether there was anything at your house that might belong to him. And you had said, Hell no. I'm going to uh, kick my ass. No, I wanted to ask you about that, because um, a couple of times now, I get the impression from both you and your mom, um, your mom's on the phone and she's saying she wants to come in and uh, talk with us. Uh, about what's going on. She wants to know. She's curious. Why are you coming here? So, he, and you tell me that your mama's girl mm -hmm. and that she's very protective, which is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Love to see that. Why do you think that mom doesn't like Steve? I already know why. She doesn't like the age. She doesn't like the age difference. She hates it. She absolutely straight out freaking hates it. What, what do you think about that? I mean, honestly, how old is he? How old is he? We're 17 years apart. That's all I know. We're 17 years apart. I forgot how old he said he was, but we're 17 years apart. And you're 21. Yes. Um. You know, He's I 38. Yeah. Yeah. I did second guess it at first, obviously, but after sitting and like thinking about it and this and that, you know, I really didn't. I didn't mind if he did the right things and was a gentleman. I didn't mind. And he proved it to me that he was. What do you mean, how? Just basic shit, you know, like you get a little text, you're like, oh, good morning. Hi, how are you doing? How's your day going? And stupid shit like that. Little notes, I love you notes and stuff. And just a little dumb shit to, I guess, that made me feel special. Well, that's cool. I mean, what girl doesn't like to feel that way? But honestly. And so, if it's an older guy that does that, because quite frankly, I remember being your age, and young guys, younger guys, they don't really know, do they? No. You know, they don't they're have to be under wash to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, so there's an older guy that comes along. Is that what it is for you guys? I mean, I what guess. is it for him? Because are, are you a trophy for him? That's what a bunch of my friends said. 
I asked, I asked him about it a bunch of times. He didn't know. And the other reason why is because I kind of thought about it. If I was, wouldn't I be showing off to people? Wouldn't I be? We don't, we don't go around anybody. We don't really do much. And what we do is mainly because of me, or if like he's got to go shopping or do some stupid running around. Well, I'm totally fine and content with my family and the select few friends. That's how I've always been my whole life. I'm totally fine with it. I don't want to go be productive and fucking smile and say hi to people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I work customer service. I'm not a fucking happy person. I don't like, I can't deal with stupid people. I can't. Oh, God. And it's way oh, over. Oh, my God. I don't hear that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, I and you, you, just, you just get to a certain point in customer service you're like, well, fuck's your problem? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What? I hate, uh, I just, I can't. So it's just, and for being a customer service and working, I just, I, I like my own time. <laughs> no. So you guys don't go out a lot? No. You, um, the other reason why, too, is because I bring up my Xbox, play video games, sit and game, shit like that. What's your favorite video game? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. And that is, now you'll have to explain that to me because I'm not a great big huge Xbox person. As a matter of fact, you might be completely shocked to know that I've never played Xbox. I'm not even sure I would know what I was looking at unless it said Xbox on it, and I'm certain that I wouldn't know how to turn it on. So Call of Duty, I think, is when there's a bunch of military people running around and somebody's trying to kill everybody. Yep. Is that correct? Correct. <laughs> so at least I know that. Yeah. What about Steve? Does he play video games as well? Um. If I force him to. <laughs> yeah, otherwise he just sits there watching like, He's kind of a big guy, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. How do you force oh, yeah. him to do? <coughs> and he bothered you know, you know, just like mom, uh, kid does through mom, 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 here, play, play, play. Works out just fine. And what is his favorite game? I don't really have a favorite game. I guess the game that I force him to play the most would probably GTA because it's more GTA, Grand Theft Auto. Because it's more, you can do whatever you want, I guess you could say, and there's not like a specific thing you have to do, or if you do it the right way or the wrong way, you can okay. just do it and yeah. play, and learn as you go, okay. and you can do that. Because when I, when I first played with some Call of Duty, I said, you're doing it wrong, stop it, turn right here. <laughs> you get sick of it, because they kept on doing it, like, oh my god, you're going to die. So I was like, it was like shit like that, and I can't fucking play with you like doing this. I'm like, okay. That's why I gave him that game. He's and I don't do that. I'm like, oh, um, instead if he dies, I'm like, you stuff. So it sounds like, <laughs> it sounds kind of like you're um, more a homebody, but you just turned 21. Mm -hmm. And so I'm guessing you probably have been to the bars before you're 21, which I don't care about. But do you guys go out? I don't do drink. You don't? I don't drink. At all? Nope. No kidding? I don't drink. I don't like drinking. I don't like him drinking. I don't drink. I don't like it. It was part of the thing that when we got into this, that he wasn't going to drink. I don't like it. I just don't. So, does he drink? Not that much. I'm not like she talks to me and I get really okay. Otherwise, I don't. I do not approve of it at all in any sort of way. Really? Why? That's it's interesting. It's just from, yeah, from a 20 year old. old. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I've, all, I've been like this for the last three years, um, I was diagnosed with something where if I drink too much or eat too much of certain things, which is, uh, beer is one of them, and liquor, it can tear a hole in the lining of my stomach, and it makes me feel like shit, I feel like completely and utterly sick to my stomach if I just take one sip of alcohol, mm -hmm. so that's why I was like, I don't need it, what is it, what is it of any importance of doing to me anyway, it should actually be, it should be illegal, honestly, I, I think at one time it was. They it, called it prohibition. But it should. It should be, yeah. again, honestly. It's, yeah. it's not a good thing, but yet we have 10 bars in a fucking walking distance within a block, so whatever. Uh, within I, a block of what? <laughs> like like Broadway. Oh, oh, there's like 15 bars going all the way down, and they're all in walking distance. Yeah. Only Wisconsin. Do you know, um, does he go to bars? Do you know what bars he goes to? Hell no, dude. If he goes to a bar, he has to ask me, and I literally... He knows that I don't like it, so he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna go anywhere around here. There, because I get pissed. I'm like, do it. Why are you fucking drinking? That's like the main issue. Like, if I see him and like I can smell like a little bit of alcohol, I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing? 
you don't drink with me, and then I get mad, and then I'll leave. And he'll be like, I'm sorry, and then the next day he'll stay sober, you know, he'll sit and talk to me, like, dude, I don't want to fucking drink, I want you drinking, I don't like drinking. I do not like drinking. I'm 21, whatever. For my birthday, I literally went out to the first bar, so I we got to, I'm like, I want to go home. Are we done? Can I go home and leave? So, did you go with him? No, for my birthday, me and my mom. Uh-huh. Me and my mom, her friends, we all went out, whatever. Um, so literally the second bar I went to go to sleep. Fuck, I want to go to sleep. Where did you go? Bacon Ridges was the first one. Job Center was the second one. <laughs> Job Center. Uh, <laughs> where are these places? I've never heard of them. Uh, Bacon Ridges. Or like super, um, university, university. Big Rich. Big is in university. I can't, I honestly, I cannot even picture that okay. place. Okay. Um, well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? It's not university, that's all I know. Um, the other one is on Side Street by, you know where Sons is? I don't Tim Sons. Tim Sons. Oh. Um, in a Japanese house? Yep, but on the east side. Nathan, or in on the east Howard. side? Okay. Yep. I it's did. around there. On one of the side streets in the back, Job Center. Okay. It's around over there. I don't think I've... Oh! I think maybe I do know where that is, approximately. But I've never been there. So, so those were the places he went to and that was all? Yeah. And um, you don't know whether he goes out or where, if he does go out, where he hangs out, nothing like that. If he does. I get mad right away, even if he does. I'm like, I don't, I don't even care where you are. I'm just, I immediately bitch right away. Just, why are you out drinking? You shouldn't be out drinking. I do not like it. So, so what time? Um, you go over to his house, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. And don't like Waz, his uh, roommate. roommate. When did he move in with Waz? I forget. I'm sorry. <coughs> he was like a month ago. Okay. And and do you stay overnight? Have you? I stayed over there five times in total. You mean since you've been together? Yes. Oh, okay. What about? I don't, I don't like his roommate. Otherwise, Matt, I stay just stay with him really late, watch movies, shit, talk, and then I go home. When you say really late, for me that's subjective. Little Two, little three, little. four a.m. sometimes. Okay. So about how often would you say that you've seen when you first started seeing each other? And things started progressing. Every day we seen each other. When you when you guys first started seeing each other? About every day. Oh really? There's probably maybe a week or so on the end of the little entire day where we I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to I literally so no, I literally just woke up. I was taking my dog out you guys few more and just woke up, I'm sorry. Um so there was a week, you said you yeah, see there's each other almost every day. There was a, uh, we see each other almost every day, but there was a week in there where, um, he was just fishing and talking to each other, he was doing shit for work, I got my new job over at Davis Bridal there, I was fucking and working my ass off trying to get more hours, trying to learn more things, because I'm only as useful as much stuff as I know, and that's, yeah. so I need to learn more in order to get more hours to get more money. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was working on that, and it's just because of working so much that I really didn't have time until everything kind of calmed down because I was working every day, the long shifts, because I just started up and needed to train me. When I was needed. that? It was reset, baby, reset. I said, like, two months? Sorry. I'm going to get us a soda. <laughs> Sorry. Like, two months, I'd okay. say. So two months ago, okay, two, two months, months ago, there was about a week in time where you didn't see each other? How'd that go? It's fine. We still talk. We still text it every day. We still call oh, each other. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. But we, we, did you ever... We didn't see, see each other. So it's not that you broke up? No, 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 no. Okay. No, we were just... We were busy. Mm-hmm. I had to get my new job. I had to wake up with the crack of that fucking dawn every morning. So I was like, <laughs> I need to at least be in bed for like seven. He was like, are you shit? Me? And I'm like, yeah, I need to talk latest. <laughs> so that's why I'm, I'm not a normal 21-year-old. I need my sleep and I don't drink, so. That's very unusual, I have to say. Yep. It sounds like you're very, very responsible. 
Yes, a lot of people say that towards me. Oh, you just come over. I don't want to. I have lost half my friends because I don't want to go in a drink or do this drug with them or do all this bullshit that I used to. Do you smoke pot? Anything? See, I, I used to do it all the time. I used to, yeah. I used to do it all the time. <coughs> I mean, occasional, don't get me wrong. I don't I'll care. take, like, oh, a way, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I don't care if you smoke pot. <laughs> I don't care. Like, that's what I'm saying, like occasionally. I'm just like, curious, do you do anything at all? Like, do you have any sort of substance use? Occasionally, like, I'll smoke. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, okay. I'll smoke, but it's not like, I need this. Yeah. I, no, no. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just not that type of person. Okay, so, so we have, you and Steve are together. You started dating around April, May-ish, two months after you, you met each other. Nothing unusual has happened. What about, so no violence, no, what about fighting? Do you guys argue or fight? No fighting. The main, main thing that we don't fight, we we literally talk to each other. Just talk cuss, pretty much, I guess you could say. I'm sorry, did you say talk cuss? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> like, we'd be sitting here, like, basically, we'd be laughing and shit, and, like, like I said, if, like, I see him, I smoke a drink, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Fucking drinking, you lazy pants, what the hell is wrong with you, you know, shit like that. And he's just like, well, fuck you, and I'm like, what, you want another drink? I'll shove it down your throat, and like, bring it on, you know, oh, stupid okay. shit like that. So it's kind of jokingly. Jokingly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and, uh, you know? Um, this is kind of interesting to me. I mean, you're, you've are you been dating. Do you know anything about his past? Do you know anything about him at all, other than he has two children? And he was from Virginia um, a long time ago. He was in prison for um, something. Do you know what? He was in prison for something a long time ago in Virginia. Do you know what? He was 18 or something. I mean, um, someone or someone was shooting or something, and then he shot back, and someone died or something, I think, or something. Something like that, right? Right? Isn't it like that? Something. Yeah. Something like that. That's what he told me or something. Something that had to do with some type of drugs or something. Someone didn't like him or some shit, so someone came, tried shooting at him or something. And then he shot back or some shit like that, and he was in jail for a long time. And then someone died. I guess. I guess that, that happened before he went in. I think. Like. What do you mean before he went in? Before he went into jail, like that's how he found out he's like someone dying. And then it was like I think it was like technically like a homicide or a murder, whatever. Mm-hmm. However you want to say that, whatever words you want to use. That's why he went to jail because he killed that person or whatever. How did you feel about that? I I second guess myself a lot, yes. Oh yes, I did. I actually looked him up. I tried looking him up on uh the Green Bay court thing. Couldn't C-Cap. find anything. C cap. C cap. Yeah, sure. I couldn't find anything and then I tried for Virginia because I'm not uh, living in Virginia and I don't have this thing, I would have to pay for it. To look and get a background check. Did you ever ask him anything more about that? Oh, I've I always ask him. And just because I you me personally, you don't fully know someone until probably about the three year or four mark. Three, three. I'm sorry, three or four year mark. Yep. Okay. You're not gonna truly know someone until around there. So yes, I I questioned him all the time. I always ask him. I repeatedly ask him. I ask him in different ways to see if he gives me a different answer from a different way. It's always the same thing. So either he's paying really close attention or he's literally telling me the truth. No. I mean, why would someone keep that up of much of a charade, though? That's why that's why I keep saying giving to me, but that look that you just gave me, like, some people do that. Some people do. And, I don't know, this whole thing is just making me second guess. Now, I really want to know what's going on. Do I get to ask questions? Like, I really am you curious. You do, and uh, b- before you do that, I'm going to ask you, do you want a soda, or do you want something to drink? Because Probably just this. Caffeine, something caffeine. I'm thinking we both could use some caffeine, caffeine. frankly. Yeah. And uh, what about a bathroom break? I'm totally fine. Okay. I'm totally fine. I'm going to um, step out for a second. What kind of soda do you want here? Yeah, like you want or something? I do. Awesome. I don't know if we have regular or diet. Do you hate that diet? shit don't matter. Okay. Yeah. Just so long as don't I don't matter. I can't drink <laughs> diet. Anything makes me sick. Yeah, I'll fine. be right back and get us something. 
Alright. Oh, you know what I wanted to ask you before I forget? Um, before I forget, um, do you know of any illegal activity that Steve has been involved in? No. Why? What are you doing? Okay, well, that's a, that's a good question, isn't it? And that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, have you had any involvement in anything? With him? Yeah, that you want to talk to me about right now. Um, the only thing that I can tell you is that I went in bottom lake. I went in bottom lake, what like a dub of weed. That's pretty much about it. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't just other than weed, other than like that's literally been it. Like that's all he's ever asked me for. He obviously doesn't know anybody around here, and I do. So I would have to <coughs> talk to. You said this, this, this. Is there anything in your phone, anything on your phone that you would be concerned about? Like any, um, anything, any text messages? No. Would it be okay with you if we extracted the... If I need to know what's going on first. You if I, I need to know what's going on first before I just totally give you guys my everything. Your everything? It, you, you've already came to my house, let's look through my car, you bought my phone, I literally didn't even know what was going on. Okay, but we're not, we were not in your house. No, but I'm just saying you were at my house. I just, I need to know what's going on before I keep getting you my stuff. Yeah, I really, I just... Is there something that you'd be concerned about though? I need to know that, Jordan. No, nothing, nothing in it that I'm concerned about. The only thing that I'm concerned about is me being with him, is me going back to him tonight and not knowing what's happening. I would like to know for my safety, me and for my family, and my mom. I think you're going to be going back to him. I'm going to give you a short one, okay? Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. I'll be right back. I would really appreciate it if you don't access your phone right now, okay? You can doodle, however, if you'd like to. Okay. Here, have some doodling. I'll be right back. Mountain Doodle. Okay, young lady, I don't see any doodling. <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to do something I never ever do. Never mind, do. I don't drink soda. So if my leg is going like your leg, after I get done drinking the soda, you'll understand why. Okay. I know that you're concerned. I want you to take a deep breath, okay? I just want to know what the hell is going on. I don't and know what I can get to tell you. you. I'm going to tell you, and uh, I don't think you're going to like this much. But what I'd like to do first, um, we've talked about a lot of things, and what I'd like to do is get a statement from you, okay? Um, I can promise you this, that your statement is helpful to us. Um, it helps us to understand what you know about what's going on, or what you don't know about what's going on, okay? These things that I've asked you today, there's the reason that I've asked you. So, that's okay? Mm hmm Yeah? Okay. Thank and you. I asked you a question. Are you going to tell me this last? before or after the statement? Oh, we always do the statement first. We have a certain specific way that we do things, and we don't deviate, and we don't change, because um, there's a reason for that. Okay? I understand that you... Um, I understand that you want to know, and I'm going to answer these questions for you. But here's why we don't do that, and I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you very. What's going on? I'm really nervous. I really want to know what the hell's going on. I actually really. You want to go have a cigarette? No, I just really want to know what the hell's going on and what. Okay. I I I get that. 
But the reason we don't talk about things before the statement, the reason we don't do that, is because we don't want to poison the statement. It's important that I get from you raw information. And what you've told me, I think, is honest. Would you say that what you've told me is honest? Right. And, and I believe you. And that's why it's important. Now, have you told me anything that you think is going to get you in trouble? No. Let me answer that for you. No. If so my question is, is if there's something that you know, Jordan, if there's something that that you're aware of um, that that happened, not with you and Steve, but that that happened with Steve that you're aware of, let me ask you this. Would you tell me? Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to protect someone that I don't know. And I believe you. I believe that. Especially in this situation. But it's important that we get raw information from the people that we're talking to. And believe me, we're talking to a lot of people, and so far, everybody's been very cooperative. Just so like you, you come in here, um, we come to your house, I introduce myself, um, I ask you, kind of right out of the gate, I ask you, um, is it okay with you if I look in your car? And you say, yep. Is it okay with you if you come with me um, to the sheriff's office so that we can have a conversation about the, and you say, yep. That doesn't sound to me like somebody who has anything to hide. And it certainly doesn't sound to me like a young lady who's going to lie to me about anything. And I don't, I, you know, honestly, Jordan, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I'm absolutely not going to. Um, I understand you want to know right now, and that part of that is your youth. I understand that. Part of that is also that you've been spending time with a guy who now you're starting to think you don't know. But what I'd like you to do is just be patient and trust me and trust that I'm not going to lead you astray. I would just like to know if he goes to jail for how long. He's going to go to jail for a long time. Will my statement affect that and what he does? And that, will it make him go to jail if I give a statement? How many other people have given statements? Everybody that we're talking to is being very honest. And I can't share with you that information the same as I would. I just want to know how many people. Five, I six, seven. I, I can't I can't tell you that. And part of the reason I can't tell you that is because I don't know. But also, I I wouldn't tell anybody else. Um, you know that I was talking to you. This conversation that you and I are having is a conversation between you and I. Okay. No, I just want to know what the fuck's going on, dude. I'm already in the lockout with me, but I just want to know what's going on, seriously. I don't want to be put in a position or hang out with someone that obviously is doing something they're not supposed to be doing and getting me in trouble and shit. I just you're, really want to know what the you're fuck's going on. You're not in trouble, Jordan. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. I think you're in a situation um, where you're pretty blind, but you're not in trouble. And the reason you're here is because this is um, this is a serious situation. Exactly, it wouldn't be this serious if she wasn't wasn't talking to me right now. And that's why I want to know what is the about. Oh, that was It wouldn't. I know it wouldn't be this serious if you weren't bringing me in here, seeing and talking and coming to my house. Yeah, that's true. That's why I just want to know. I just want to know. But it Even just the generalization of what is it about? Is it about drugs? Is it about girls trafficking something? Money? Okay. Like, what is it about? Would it help you to sit down if I told yes, you Yes, it's it, it, 100% it would. It's about a homicide. Was you that? No. A different person? No. Like, he did it. Is somebody here in Great Tech? Please. Yeah, somebody here in Green Bay. Do you know anything about that? No. Okay. You fucking killed someone?
Big cash, you got a can of cigarettes. That's both sides. Can I just leave my stuff in here? Absolutely. You want to bring your soda? No. Okay. Here, I'm going to shut our door then. All right. This door. Not locked. Okay. Young lady, we're talking about uh, doing a statement. How about that? Get a quick statement? Sure. Oh, um, so this uh, cell phone is a track phone, his cell phone now. Mm -hmm. No carrier. Yeah. And I, just so, because I, I wasn't quite sure. Sometimes I have, I'm a little hard of hearing my age and a lot of gunshots and sirens mm -hmm. over the years. Kind of destroyed some of the hearing, but um, the cell phone, his cell phone, did I understand you correctly to say that he was on, uh, what is her name? Linda. Linda. Mm -hmm. He was on her plan, mm -hmm. and then she got mad and shut his phone off. But it cost him too much to go back on the other plan, so he got this one. Exactly. 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 And that was right after he um, moved out from Linda. Correct. Okay. You know what? This is an awesome machine and I'm sure that you know what it is. But it makes my life a lot easier because I get to type stuff. So this is a dumb question. No. This person dead? Not such a dumb question ever. Go ahead. Is this person's dead? Yes. This person's dead. Well, was it a violent matter that it was done in, or was it literally just like a shot to the head? I can tell you this. I cannot give you any particulars. Um, no. I'm going to no, just what was it? Was it a violent? One, it was violent. Why do you ask that? So that's interesting. I'm just curious because he, he's never showed me violent in him at all. He's never yelled at me. He's never. I've never, ever, ever, ever seen him get pissed off in any sort of way. Really? Yep. Yeah. Huh. He's actually a very calm, cool, collective man. He thinks about his shit before he does it. That's why I'm curious. Thanks for about his shit before he does it. In what way? How do you know? You know, it's like, like filtering your mouth. Like, you know, you, you want to say something, but it's not the right thing to say. So you think about it first before it goes out the whole trap. Mm. Yeah, that's me. Like, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Or like, you mean so not so much like uh, other people that you might know. Exactly. <laughs> or kids by age where they're just like, oh, I'm just going to say this and blurt it out just to hear me talk. Okay. Like he actually like thinks about it and thinks about like my feelings and this and that. Like he he has thought behind it. He's a good guy. I thought he was. I don't know. I really he's an awesome guy. Like I I don't understand. I really don't. He's an awesome guy. He hasn't showed me any reason to be doubting of any sort of way. Sorry, I'm going to have to step up and take this. Yanki. Hey, young lady. Um, cell phone. Are you okay with us extracting? Why do you need it? Oh. Because the things that you are uh, talking to me about, um, the things that you tell me, the cell phone shows that. That that's how things went. So is this going to help him? Well, there's just going to go against it's him. It's going to help you. And it's not going to go against him. We have everything that we need. So, so what the cell phone does is um, it 
the reason we ask for cell phones is because it shows credibility. So you know what that means, right? Credibility means that what you say is accurate. You're credible. Um, you're truthful. Okay. And, and so what you're telling us is um, this person uh, text messaged you a lot. Um, I'm assuming that maybe there's some text messages saying we're getting together at this time or whatever, or I'm on my way. Um, those are the things that we cross-reference. We cross-reference data. Um, the, the stuff that you're uh, providing with your cell phone um, helps us to establish... It would just be his type? Phone. Just his? You, well, the, the, we, can't, we can't pick and choose what we... Um, what the phone dumps for the, the data download, but what I can tell you is that we're only interested in that. So we're not interested in anything else, but like we don't care about um, photos and videos and stuff like that. That's not what we're looking for. But it's just in his tag. We're looking for texts between the two of you. That's it. And it's up to you. And the, honestly, I can't think of a reason why. It, is there a reason you're hesitant? I mean, I can see that you're hesitant about it. Is there a reason? I don't want to get myself in trouble. Um, did you have anything to do with the homicide? No, I just don't want... Then you can't get yourself in trouble. So anything else of what I said in this phone to other people does not matter? Not at all. We're not interested in that. And anything I said to him about different stuff no. does not matter. No. What we're interested in doing is finding, uh, figuring out whether there's any text messages that said, uh, for instance, baby, it's okay that you killed her. I forgive you. Did it was a girl? Yeah. It's a girl. And so, if you don't know anything about this, do you know anything about this? What's going on, Jordan? He did this to a girl? Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not violent, though. And if that's the case, we're going to be able to tell that in your text message. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Well, first things first, I'm going to have you sign uh, what's called a consent form. Because that's showing everybody, I can't take your phone, that's showing everybody that you're, you know, consenting to this download. Was this girl killed at night or in day? <coughs> At night. At night? Late, late night? Like 34 a.m.? I can't tell you that. Because I'm literally with him every night. That's why I'm a little bit confused. Um, were you with him when a homicide occurred? Like I seen it on the news or something. I heard about it like when I was with oh, him. Oh, everybody. No. Have you, well, you know what? That's a good question. That's a good question, isn't it? Has he been interested in any homicides that have occurred in Green Bay? No. The only one that he was helping me through is Suzette. The only one that he's helping me through is what happened to Suzette. Has he been interested in learning any more about anything going on in Green Bay? No. Just tries to comfort me and Jordan J O R B A M and just make it feel a little bit better. Ray R A E. Spell your last name. S C H E Y L E R. And your date of birth. September third. Okay, 
know, this is a Samsung. What is it though? What type of phone? <coughs> I think you're writing to the library, right? I think it is. Um, here. Do you mind if I take this off? Yeah, go for it. Okay, thank you. Sorry to too much hands, but <laughs> if it's like mine, I never take no, the, yeah, yeah. Off. yeah. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this other than provide it to. So I'm not going to take the. Do you ever take the back off? I haven't taken it off in forever. Yeah, let's not now. Okay. Samsung, uh, what color is that? Black. Or pink is blue. blue, it looks like, huh? Um, let me ask you this. Has anybody besides you used your phone? <laughs> do, um, do you own this? Yeah, no, it's just me. Okay, so it's controlled by you and it's owned by you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Consent is given to... Sergeant Nikki Yankee Yankee and or Brown County Sheriff's Office. So what I'm going to do is give this to my computer guru. I'll have you sign here. So. So basically, this okay, guy, hold on. Weird <coughs> question of government weird bullshit. You're not even put like anything stupid no, on there, like no. listen to my phone calls, no. get my text no, or anything. That's not legal. Okay, it's that only happens. <laughs> that that only only in movies. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 But that only happens in the movie. Okay. It doesn't happen in real life. It's just curious. Nobody has money for that <laughs> and to do wiretaps. That's a federal, great big, huge federal. Yeah, you have to have like a warrant or something for it, right? Like. A billion warrants. Okay. And they're impossible to get, and they don't occur in situations like this. Yeah, I'm just, so yeah, no. Check out. Watch a lot of crime and investigation. Yeah. Of all, all that stuff, just so you're aware, looks really super awesome on TV, yeah. but it doesn't happen in real life. Oh, okay. I was just curious. So this says that the phone is owned and controlled by you. That it's a Samsung. I'm gonna put a blue cell phone instead of putting um, the serial number, which I'll get later um, from our, uh, our our dude who's gonna do the download. And then um, this just states that you're giving me permission and Brown County Sheriff's Office because I'm not sure whether um, Bailing or our other gal are gonna do it. So, and that's where you sign. Jordan, I gotta tell you, there are no tricks in this room. I know you're hesitant, but there are no tricks. What I'm telling you is straight up. <coughs> and by the way, you'll have a copy of that. I'm going to get this off to them right away so they can start the download. Okay? Mm -hmm. Is that good? <coughs> it, that's why I'm going to get it to them right away. So it's quick and they can get us the phone back. Okay? It doesn't take long, but it takes a little bit of time. And while we're doing the statement, we can have the cell phone come That's for you. I'll be right back with this. Oh, is it password protected? No. Okay. I'll be right back. Doodle if you want to. where 
um, I said that this wasn't going to be an easy thing for you to hear. But you don't want to smack somebody in the head with this, do you? You know, would that be fair of me? Smack you in the head with all this information? Do you think that would be fair? It's not a very nice thing to do, is it? I mean, think about it. You've spent several months with this guy. You think you know him. What kind of person would I be if I came in and hit you with all that at once? Kind of shit. If there's literally no one else. And how would someone even know if it was him? It was just those two. Is there anybody else? We have a lot of crying in this room, in these rooms. Pretty normal. Pretty normal stuff. <coughs> so I always start these the same way, and I'm just going to talk out loud while I'm typing, okay? So you know the this part that I'm typing, and then we'll kind of fill in the blanks about what we talked about. My name is Jordan. Shiler, and I am 21 years old. I completed 11 years of school and can read and write English. I understand that I am not under arrest and am free to leave at any time. I am giving this statement to Sergeant Nikki Yonke Freely. Yes? Okay. I live with my mom. Heather, and should we say her, should we use Shiler, Skyler? <coughs> I have lived there all my life. Okay. Um, who else lives there right now? Just my mom. We just got to like a week ago. Okay, so a friend of my mom, Corey. Do you know what last name? It's not the end. C O R Y. And and we say L N U then, which is last name unknown. That's what L N U stands for. So Corey Lenu has been staying for about a week until what <coughs> will be moving out soon. Hopefully. Oh, never mind. Okay. Since he had problems with his wife, is it? Yeah, I did so. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, no 
nobody else lives with us. Okay, so I have been dating, should we call him Mike? Or, I'm sorry, Steve? Yeah. Okay. Steve. And what's his last name? Birch. Do you know how to spell it? B U R C H. Or B R U C H. Problem. For. <laughs> About how long? Four, four, five months. Almost four, five months. Now we don't live together, and he never stayed at my house overnight. Right? Has he? You said he doesn't have any property in your house. No. And he has never driven my car? No. Or borrowed it? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely your car. Okay. Please tell me if you want a uh, tissue, okay? I just want to hurry up and get the fuck out of here. I understand completely, and I will help you to do that. <coughs> okay. Um, I don't drink and don't like it when he drinks. Correct? Correct. Okay, so you said he has to ask you for permission? He usually does. Okay. Why is this of any importance in a statement? Um, I ask for a lot of information. That's how I do statements. It's just kind of my routine, and I stick with it. So I grab a whole bunch of information. Um, for instance, uh, we know that he does drink, and so. This goes to explain that you don't really know that he drinks. Well, like, I knew before, but I, I told him afterwards, after he, I seen him drunk a couple times, it was like, I'm done. You're not drinking anymore. I'm done. So, you saw him drunk a couple times, and you didn't like it? No, I wouldn't say per se drunk, just kind of drinking. Okay. I just don't like it. I just I don't like drinking. I'm not a drinker. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. So, um... Steve and I... You said you pretty much hang out all the time? Literally every day. And if we're not together, we're always texting. Okay. Um, so this incident, um, well, you said you kind of started seeing each other around April or May. Right? <coughs> What's that? Around there somewhere. It was literally like, I literally know him, I know him for not that long, and then we just kept hanging out, and that's where it progressed from there. Like, it wasn't even that long that I know him, we just got together right the way, literally. Okay. And even when we were just hanging out, we were just hanging out, we were together, like, almost all the time, except when I said he was out of work, and I was at work. Okay. Only time we weren't together, literally every day. Okay. But you weren't sleeping overnight together, correct? I've only slept there about five times. I've never... You said he was living at Linda and... Yes. What's, what's the... Linda and Ed. Linda and Ed? Yes. I've only slept over a couple times, but I'm literally there with him until 3, 4, 5 a.m. 
I'm literally with him that long. Like, all day. And I stay with him almost all night. And then I go home. That's why I don't understand. I'm literally with him all the time. Okay. I really don't understand. He's never showed not one tendency of being violent in any sort of way. Jordan. It seems like you're getting pissed off, and typically this is about the time where people get pissed off at the police. <coughs> but I can tell you this, I didn't cause this situation. You have to have the wrong guy, not him. I wish I could say that we do, but we don't. There's no way I could be him. There's no way. Never let anyone hurt me. He said nothing but help me. Literally said nothing but help me. And but when I'm out of money, I have nothing left. You guys are bad. Just buy some cigarettes. Like, buy me fucking food. I have no food. Like, please done nothing but help me. That's why I don't understand. There's no way this could have been him. No fucking way. together we're always texting. We began seeing each other around April or May and at that time he was living with Linda and Ed. I don't know. I don't know when he left Linda and Ed. Were you, were you guys, when you started seeing each other, was he living there? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, we were living there for a while when we were together. I stayed over there all the time. All the time. And you stayed there? Yep, all the time. Because Ed and Linda were awesome. We so stayed there all the time with them. He had his own room, so we were go just uh, play video games with him, room or bring dogs outside, take the dogs outside, play with them, talk with Ed and Linda, whatever. Okay, so I stayed there all the time with him and would talk with Ed and Linda, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So, how often would you say you slept overnight there? About, you know. See, what's your definition of sleeping in there overnight? Like, what's, what's the definition of it? I mean, like, you could sleep, you would cuddle, you lay down for a little while. I'd have seen it sometimes 4 or 5 a.m., sometimes 6. Okay. So, so there were times where you would stay there, and there were, were there times where you wouldn't stay there, or did you stay there every night? I pretty much stayed there every night until literally, except my mom, I wouldn't come home until 4 or 5 a.m. Sometimes three. I would not. If you're around in here, I'd literally never come home. I would always be with him. Always. Okay. So I don't so. understand. I was always with him. Even if I wasn't, you text me and call me. Otherwise, I was always with him. Okay. So I pretty much stayed there with him until four or five. So this homicide happened when the truck happened, the truck thing. Yep. Right about that time. It's in the same time frame. Not that same night. Right? Was it after the truck was on fire? Mm -hmm. So it was before. Yeah. Well, the night that that truck thing happened, you were at home, right? Last time about 12, 12, 11, 12, me and one, that's I'm at home at so And he was at home? When I left, yeah. He was going to bed. So we began seeing each other around April or May, and at that time, he 
he was living with Linda and that I stayed there all the time with him and would talk with Linda and, with, and Linda. I pretty much stayed there with him until 4 or 5 in the morning and then went home, right? Mm -hmm. How often was that? Literally every day. <coughs> the moment we started being with each other, we the bed and Linda was just pretty much with him every day. Okay. Um, and and are you saying that you were with him every day and pretty much every night? See, you want to be really careful right now because what you were telling me initially was you stayed with him, you know, in, when we and when we originally were talking by your house, you said maybe you stayed overnight with him four or five times. Yeah, I like I don't know, my definition of overnight is probably different than yours. Okay. Overnight, to me, that's why I wanted to ask you what your definition was. Mm -hmm. Sleeping to me overnight is literally I'm staying there, I'm waking maybe, maybe 10, 11, 12, you know, getting ready, this and that. But, like, I would sit there and, like, cuddle with him and lay down and wake up, maybe watching TV, this and that, go back, lay down a little bit more, cuddle. And I'd stay there until literally like 4 or 5 a.m. and then I'd come home, and that's when I would actually go to bed. Okay. So I don't, I don't know what you consider staying over is. Do you think that when you were texting each other, would it be safe to say um, that when you were texting, you weren't together? Because why would you sit next to somebody on the couch and text them? That would be silly, wouldn't it? I know we never text each other right next to each other. Right. That would be silly, wouldn't it? Yeah, we never text each other right next to each other. So if you were texting each other, you weren't with each other, correct? Correct. Okay. Usually the only time that it was was when he was at work in the afternoon. Okay. That's why I don't understand. understand. So confused. There's no way that he could have done this. They're for real head. There's no way. There's no way that was him. Okay. So can you tell me about an incident, this, uh, let's talk about this incident quickly with the car that was stolen? Because here's the thing, you know, when we were sitting by your house, you're telling me the cops are at my house, um, and, and you know what, I don't want to put you in a position where you feel like you have to um, defend somebody. You love this guy, don't you? Well, here's, here's the thing, Jordan. Whether you love him or don't love him, however you feel about him, what he did, he made the decision to do. That had nothing to do with you, and it certainly didn't have anything to do with me. You know? Did it have anything to do with you? I don't think so. But, but he made his own decision, and I don't think, you're, I don't think you want to be sticking up for him right now. Because no, when we were... We don't. <laughs> Jordan, literally, literally, there is a way. There is a way. And and I know that you're not happy with me being the bearer of bad news. I know you, you know, you're looking at me like you're pissed off at me, and I get that. And you can be pissed off at you want, but I got to tell you, there is a way. And and I'm sorry to have to be the one. But you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're saying, there is no way. He didn't do it. This didn't happen. I was with him every night because now you're putting yourself in a position where you're providing an alibi for him. And I literally was. Well, you, you just start telling me, Jordan. You just start telling me, um, not even five minutes ago, that there was a car that was stolen and that you weren't with him when the car was stolen, and that it was like midnight, right? Okay. So it wasn't every night that you were with him. I had work the next day. 
way, but no, so I can sleep first. So you just got done telling me not too long ago that you like your sleep and that you I would don't, go home that early. That was the main thing that we always talked about is because I wanted to go home early to sleep and be like, oh, you know, you can sleep with me. So that's why I go there and I cuddle with him for a little while and we pass out. And I go home and actually get sleep myself so I can be productive. Ever customer service ain't missing. Otherwise, we would be the crankiest bitch in customer service ever. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. I know me. I, I can't. Customer service where? It's what you get as part of. I'm gonna deal with bitchy brides. When did you get that job? <sighs> Not too long ago. Okay, so we texted when we weren't together. We never texted each other when we were with each other, correct? Never texted each other when yeah, we were you, with each other? Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay. So, there was a situation when the... Was it Linda's car? It's Linda's. Linda's car was stolen out of her driveway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you said Steve had the car last and left the keys in it? Yeah, he brought him up from work or wherever he was. Fucking, I forgot, it's either work or something. And he came home and forgot to fucking take the keys out like he always fucking does. And he just walked inside and went to bed. Were you there? No, but I have seen him for his keys in the trucks plenty of times. Okay. So, I wasn't there, but I know he leaves keys in uh, cars, or I know he has left. Plenty of times, right? Yeah. Okay, so the car was taken and someone drove it past my house. I don't know, I didn't see if the cop said that um, the vehicle, there was a vehicle side swipe on my street. Oh, I see. Okay, so the car was taken and then later started on fire. And as you said, yeah, it was brought back to the neighborhood and started on fire in the neighborhood where they got it. This because a cop called me, right? Oh. And told me that, um, the of this car. when the car sideswiped another car near my house, And then um, was driven back to Linda's, to the area of Linda's house, right? Yeah, the area. Did you tell me that um, the cop asked you about? Uh, whether Steve did it, yeah, or where Steve was, yeah. And what did you say? No, um, he wasn't with me. I'm sleeping at the house, and I think he did it. No, because I trusted him and loved him. But yeah, maybe there was a second thought in my mind that someone ran and stole a random vehicle, randomly ended up in my street, and then ran back to the same neighborhood and started to be on fire. Yeah, it's a little weird. Yeah, I had a second thought about it. It just sounds weird. But I trusted him. Was the girl raped? I can't tell you that. When she was. Don't 
The cop asked me whether Steve uh, was with me, <clears throat> and I told him no, that I didn't think Steve had anything to do with it. I did. Steve told me he didn't, right? Mm hmm I always question him. I always ask him different ways, and he always said the same thing. Try catching him off guard all the time. And I felt like you wanted him there. He always said the same thing. So I thought it was weird that um, the car was just taken by a random person and happened past my house. And then back to the west side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Steve told me he would never lie to me, right? Mm -hmm. And I trusted him. Okay. He told me that he used to live in where? In Virginia. Do you know where in Virginia? No, I don't. Just in Virginia. And was in... Was in prison? Prison. For... Something he did when he was a teenager. Involving... Drugs and guns. that there was a, what, like, a shooting? Shooting? There was a shooting, yeah, there was some type of shooting. Someone died? I think, or injured. Well, oh, what did he tell you? You told me a couple times that he, I'm pretty sure that he died. I'm about 60% sure, but I'm assuming that's why he went prison for that long, but did he tell you how long he went to prison? Nope. And he was not specifying on. Okay. Um, I know he, well, he said he was married. Mm-hmm. And divorced. Yep. And that uh, he has two children. Yep. But you don't know much more about him? No, like I said, I only talked to the kid up in my stocks when I go on there. Okay. Have you ever talked to his ex-wife or wife? I'm really thinking I should have, but now. Okay. Um. Okay. One of the car was, um, set on um, fire. Linda got mad and kicked Steve out. Mm -hmm. She shut off his phone too. Mm -hmm. He got a track phone. Yeah, that's what it is. I know it's track phone. Um, he got a cell phone from Walmart mm -hmm. with and would buy minutes, right? Yeah. For the phone. He moved into a motel on South Ashland near Dino Stop. The motel is on the same street.
side as the gas station. Oh, and also um, after the motel, we lived with another person. He lived with um, a person over on uh, Western. With a uh, male or female? Male. Do you know his name? Um, he didn't have enough money to stay at the motel, um, so he stayed on Western. Don't know what the guy's name is. No. Okay. Do you know where on Western? Was it an apartment building or a... It was a house. Okay. Do you know what the cross streets were? No, it's on my street. Um, okay. Uh, by cross street, I, I mean uh, streets in between. So if he lived on Western... <laughs> oh, I get you now. I, I well, not. No, that's okay. That's I'm okay. sorry. I, just, I, I apologize. I should have. Yeah, I didn't. I'm, I'm didn't. sorry. We we say that a lot, but I, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a police officer. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Is it is it close to another street that you can think of? Like close to, let's see. So military, military was up there. Okay, I remember military. Do you know where Fisk Street is? Fisk Street is to the east of military, toward downtown. Might have passed it. So, so what? Um, dr let's pretend we're driving to the guy's house. If you're on military, come in from where? Oh. If I'm uh, military, I'm coming from like towards the Lambo area. Okay. I'm going that way. And you're going toward uh, like Western? The Alp. Yep. Going towards the Alp. Okay. So okay. You turn left or right? I make a right and I go down all the way down to Western. That's all the way down there. I take the Western. It's kind of at the you know, end. End of Western? Kind of, yeah. So it's, it's past South Oneida? It's, do you go through an intersection? South Oneida, no. No, it's not. South Oneida is the one by Culver's? No. And um, the CVS? No. It's not Oneida? Uh, actually, yes. That is Oneida. Oh, Oneida Street is, there would be a stop sign there. Not a stop light. Okay, no, it's not past one I know. Okay, it's not past one I know. It's on Western, but it's east of military. Did you, do you remember? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So if you took a right on Western, do you remember going to a stop sign, one stop sign kind of at the top of a hill and then stopping and going through? A four way? Yeah. A four way, yeah. Yep. yep. So that's just three. Oh, yeah, we passed that, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you don't remember going through a, another stop sign. Okay. Okay. Um, and it, was it in the area of Culver's? Or is it? It's Culver's now, isn't it? It used to be Hardee's over there. We're by CVS? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. 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 By the, the school. Oh, the little yep. elementary okay. school is over there. Yep. It's near there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, in a house. Um, East of 
this street. Okay. From there, um, he, Steve moved in with who? I'm sorry, what? From after Steve lived with the guy on Western, who mm -hmm. with his friend who's now. And what's his name? Tom Watts. And do you know what street he lives on? 15th. On 15th. Is it street or avenue? 15th. I think it's street. 15th street. 15th street. Right? I think it's, I think it's 15th street, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. But close enough. <laughs> okay. Um, so... Steve has never, let me turn this so we can move on, Steve has never been violent toward you? No, not in any sort of way, not physically, not emotionally, not anything. Um, do you, uh, and you said you, you don't really argue? No, I mean, we talk and cuss at each other, it's about it. Okay. I mean, it's not like a straight up argue, fucking fighting about it, no. Like, we'll talk and just cuss at each other because we're mad. Okay. Not fight. He, um, thinks about things before he says them. Isn't that what you told me? That he kind of thinks from, about stuff? It's just from growing up. Like, that's just from growing up. Like, his friend has cancer. So every time he goes out for a cigarette, me and him both want to be like, hey, you know, smoking cigarettes gives you cancer. You want to filter that shit throughout our mouth and be like, well, it shouldn't suck, <laughs> you know? And it's just basic shit that you learn as you grow up and you get older, you know? Fuck, I have a sliding issue with that. That was a filtering problem. You're 21 years old. Yeah. Sometimes I just like hearing my voice and hear my voice. You'll be working on that the rest of your life. I'm still working on it every single day. And if you talk to some of my bosses here, they'll tell you I'm a colossal failure. That I should think about the things I say. Yeah, I'm just need a little bit of a filter. I get it. Yeah, I get it. We do our best, don't we? Yeah. You can't be perfect. Um, he thinks about things, should I take that out, or how do you, what do you want to? I just take it out, it doesn't even sound right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to ask you specifically about um, May of this year, mid-May. Do you remember anything about mid-May? Or anything about May? Unusual or particular? Yeah. No. May was the best time that we actually had. <sighs> so he didn't act any differently? Not at all. And when you say you think it was the best time you ever had, what do you mean? Like we were, we were just so in love. We just, you know, when you're first in love, you always want to be around the person and call them cute little names and just like sit and smile and stare at them and stupid shit, I guess. Was that when you were just beginning or? Pretty much. Or everything or more of me was starting to like him more and more and more and more. Cause I seen him what a great guy he was, how much he, how nice he was, how how he treated his kids, how even how he treated his ex-wife and how civil he was about it. Have you seen him with his kids or his ex-wife? No, they're in Virginia. I'm just saying, like texting, calling him. Oh, oh. Okay. I, I I hear their conversation. The answer is. On the ship right in front of me, like okay. I've seen it all. I mean, like he's not, 
he's not rude about it in any way. Of, and I used to, I, I asked him all the time, like, why, why, why are you not more rude to her? Why, after everything she did to you, why are you not more salty towards her? You know, it's just like, just run it over and done with. You know, she obviously did what she did. She wasn't, she wasn't happy. So I had to do me. Um, so, he's such a guy, I really, I just, so, I even heard the way he talked to his ex-wife, and even though she cheated on him, was cool to her. Be honest, he was nice. He was really nice. He was really nice to her. Okay. Okay. Um. So really, you have no idea. You there was never anything off. Literally nothing. No sign. Nothing he said. Is body movement, what he did, his actions, nothing. If anything, he treated me better. What do you mean? He, like, I was going through a hard time. I obviously didn't have a job for a while, and then I finally did get one, and it took two weeks to get a paycheck, okay, and then I actually had to wait three weeks, because I came in a fucked up pay period. So, like, I had no gas. I couldn't pay for my cell phone bill. I had no cigarettes. Basic shit that I, I guess, not need but want, he took care of it. So even an asking, a question, nothing. He went on his own and took care of it to make me happy. He literally went out of his way to do that. That's why I don't understand. A guy that goes out of his way There's no way he had, there had, there's no way it has to be someone else. There's no fucking way this is, there's no way. Is there anything at all that you can think of? You, didn't, you just are blindsided by this. There's no way that he would have done that. There is literally no way in hell. We're practically with each other all the time. He's sweet, he's awesome, he's never been violent in any way. And even if so, was this just a random girl or is this the girl he knew? Was this one of Linda and Ed's friends that he met? Like, don't know. I don't know. I've never seen him around any other girls besides me. I don't understand. The only girl I've seen around was this girl Heather that Linda was friends with. The only girl, but every time she came over, she came over for Linda. Who's that? Heather? This girl that came over for Linda. She would try to get some pills off of Linda. Do you know what her last name was? Nope. All they know is her name was Heather. Do you know how old she was? They say around Linda's age, maybe my mom's age, 40s, early 40s, late 40s. That's not It's not her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get you a picture so that we're talking about the right Steve, okay? Okay. Just to make damn sure. All right. Mhm. Mm okay. Actually, how about this? Before I do that, because I think we're just about done with this, unless you can give me any other information. Let's read this. Get that taken care of. I'll go grab a picture. Check on your phone, because I don't want to run it in and out of the room. I want to get everything done all at one time. And do you need another soda? No. Do you need another cigarette break? I'm fine. Okay. When we do this, if there's anything that needs to be changed, Stop me right away instead of waiting until we get to the end, all right? My name is Jordan.
Skyler, and I'm 21 years old. I completed 11 years of school and can read and write English. I understand I'm not under arrest and I'm free to leave at any time. I'm giving this statement to Sergeant Nikki Yonke Green. I live at 329 Vader Street with my mom, Heather Skyler. I have lived there all my life. A friend of my mom's, Corey Linu, last name unknown, has been staying for about a week since uh, he had problems with his wife. Nobody else lives with us. Come on in! Currently. Thank you. Yep. Nobody else lives with us. Where, where am I? So, um, right oh, here. So currently. I've been dating Steve uh, Birch for about four or five months now. We began seeing each other around April or May, and at that time, he was living with Linda and Ed. Do you know what street they live on? I stayed there all the time with him and would talk with Linda and Ed. I pretty much stayed there with him until 4 or 5 in the morning and then went home. That was literally every day. We texted when we weren't together. We never texted each other when we were with each other. Um, there was a situation when Linda's car was stolen out of her driveway. Steve had the car, and when he came home, he forgot to take the keys out of the car when he came home to Linda and Ed, right? Mm -hmm. He forgot to take the keys out of the car. He went inside the house and went to bed. I wasn't there, but I know he has left keys and cars plenty of times. The car was taken and then later started on fire. I know this because a cop called me and told me that Linda's car sideswiped another car near my house and then was driven back to the area of Linda's house where it was started on fire. The cop asked me whether Steve was with me and I told him no, that I didn't think Steve had anything to do with it. Um, that um, that I didn't think any Steve had anything to do with it either, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I had gone home that night because I had to work in the morning. Mm -hmm. And wanted to get some sleep. And is that when you were working at uh, the bridal place? Actually, I think, no, okay. bridal, yeah, no, you're right, it's bridal place, I'm sorry, everything is just, that's okay, it's David's bridal? Where did he work? 
look at the time. <coughs> There's a landscaping place. I think he was working at a landscaping place. Mm -hmm. Do you know where it was? No, I didn't even also know that he was outside cleaning the dirt. So you have no idea where okay. I have, and you don't remember what it was called. Something on that landscaping. Okay. Okay. Steve told me he would never lie to me, and I trusted him. He told me that he used to live in Virginia and was in prison for something he did when he was a teenager involving drugs and guns, that there was a shooting and someone died or was injured. He said he was married and divorced and that he had two children, but I don't know much more about him. Um, let's do this. Once the car was set on fire, Linda got mad and kicked Steve out. He shut off his cell phone too. He got a cell phone from Walmart and bought minutes for the phone. He moved into a motel on South Ashland near Dino South. The motel is on the same side of the road as the gas station. After the motel, he moved, uh, he lived with a man, a uh, male who lived on Western because he didn't have enough money to stay at the motel. I don't know what the guy's name was, but he lived in a house east of Fisk Street in Green Bay. Um, from there, Steve moved in with Waz on 15th Street in Green Bay. Do you know about when he moved there? No. Okay. Steve has never been violent toward me in any sort of way. We don't argue, we talk and cuss at each other, but not fight. I don't remember anything unusual in particular about May of 2016. Steve didn't act any differently at all. We were so in love, and I was starting to like him more and more. I even heard the way he talked to his ex-wife, and even though she cheated on him, he was nice to her. There was no sign of any, uh, that anything was wrong. He treated me really well and would give me money when I needed it to make me happy. He would go out of his way to do that. There's no way he would be involved in any murder. Anything else? Mm -hmm. This is the end of my statement. I mean, what I wanted to do. Um, I own a, what's your car called? What did you say, a Scion? S-C-I-O-N. Um, uh, no, I think it starts with an S. Yep, S-C-I-O-N. I think so. Okay. I don't know much about cars. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm Nobody not a guy <laughs> has ever driven it but me, right? Correct. I have never let Steve drive or use it. Correct. Do you want to read through this again? I'm good. I was reading it right along with you. So what we do, have you ever done electronic signatures? <laughs> so like prescriptions and shit. Okay, same thing. Exact same thing. This is our stylus. Alright. So I'm going to have you sign here at the end of this page. And I would ask if you can, don't go below that line. And then we're going to come down here, and this is a two-page statement, so right here. Okay, and we'll have you sign here, and then date and time, okay? 
then I have to move the page after you get done with the signature. Do you want, do you need to have that any bigger? No, I should be fine. the six, right? I'm oh, sorry. Um, seven, September seventh, one thirty p.m. Have you changed phones at all? No, I changed phones. Is there any way at all that your DNA is going to be found in the field? Okay. 
Figure out a way to do that if you want to. So, um, this is a consent form for a buckle slab. And all this is, is elimination. So, this does not go into a database. We take um, a swab of your mouth that gives us DNA. We compare it to the DNA that was on the murder scene. And if you're not part of that, then that you're eliminated as a suspect, um, and and then that's destroyed. That DNA is destroyed. Okay. So this says, I do hereby consent to give a buckle swab. It's an oral swab. Um, which will be obtained by Nikki Yankee of the Brown County Sheriff's Office. I have been advised and I understand that an authorized representative of the Wisconsin Crime Lab will examine these samples. So the Wisconsin Crime Lab has the DNA from the crime scene and that's what we're talking about, that we'll take your DNA and compare it to make sure that none of your DNA is on the scene. I've had the collection procedure uh, explained to me by Nikki Yankee, and so what that is is I take a sterile swab uh, and collect it from the cheek inside your mouth. I do. Um, I understand that I do not have to submit to the collection of that uh, sample, and I do so knowingly and willingly. I also understand that the sample will not be kept permanently. So Nikki, can you this? Um, he asked for an attorney.
<laughs> Don't fucking understand. That does not mean every human being on the face of the planet is a liar. There are some people who do. What about if some somebody people who are really good?
kind of um, mixes around there. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the inside of your right cheek. And it's very quick. Sure, it's saliva. It's not it's Saliva is a, a way that we develop the DNA profile. Oh, and so it doesn't matter. There could have been any, any, anything there. There is DNA, yeah. Oh, another person and that we you don't know. Sure. No, we're using this as an elimination. I know, but okay. there's another DNA oh. besides his and hers. DNA gets very complicated, and I can't have this conversation with you. Okay? Are you ready? But there is someone else's stuff that I can guys aren't sure. that. Sorry. I understand. I understand completely and don't apologize, okay? This is quite a shock. I, I can't imagine what it would be like right now, honestly. I can't imagine what it would be like to be sitting where you're sitting. I can't, I, I honestly, I can't. And all I can say is I'm sorry. I, I honestly wish you weren't sitting there, too.
I mean, first baby to my mom and him didn't get along. He came over for my birthday when I got to the second bar and was wanted to go home. Just be nice. You prove to my mom that he actually cares about me. He came home such a nice He what? He came home and sucked it up. It was nice to her. You know, once my family is very important to you, especially my mom. And I just wanted them to get along. Certain that your mom's here. If she's not, I'm going to give you a ride home. 